In a statement by the force public relations officer, Jim Momoshud, the evidence from the five suspects now in court are enough to prosecute the Senate president. The death of Michael Adekwu M30 is a dismissed policeman and an ex-convict sectional gang leader who confessed to have killed 22 persons including pregnant women and nine police personnel during Alpha Bank robbery cannot vindicate the Senate president, Senate Abkola Saraki, the law must take its course, the statement read in part. The police stance on the reported death of Adekwu follows Saraki's claim that the trial was politically motivated. Saraki had earlier on asked the presidency to institute a judicial inquiry into the how and when the suspect died. He stated further that the new disclosure by the police has vindicated his earlier claim that the suspect had been murdered in police custody and that the investigation was politically motivated to implicate him, Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed and a few others. Contrary to Saraki's claim, the police insisted that the arrest of the robbery suspects was not politically motivated as alleged by Mr. Yuzufo Lanyanu, special advisor media and publicity to the Senate president, Senator Bkola Saraki to the media, but purely a criminal case. The police spokesman stated, Michael Adekwu M30s was not murdered but slumped and died in detention while an investigation into the offer bank robbery was ongoing. It is also important for the public to know that the deceased Michael Adekwu M30s was not among the five gang leaders that indicted and implicated the Senate President, Senate Abkola Saraki, therefore, his death cannot in any way vindicate Senate Abkola Saraki. There is a post-mortem examination result in respect of the death of Michael Adekwu M30s.